Hello, Bryce Tubbs here. I'm going to be talking about best marketing for CPA firms, basically how to create your dream firm. Now, this is a very, very, um, very, it's a topic that's very near and dear to my heart, uh, especially because I got started with my accounting and bookkeeping firm about seven years ago. And when I was getting started, like there was not really inf any information about how to do that. Everything was more about like how to go and basically be an in-house like bookkeeper or basically go and work for somebody else. It wasn't really about like freelancing or starting your own business with this, especially online. So I just make a lot of content for that. And in addition to running my accounting firm, I coach and mentor other accountants and bookkeepers to be able to go and grow their business to the multi six figure level. So if you want some help doing that, if you want to be able to grow your business really, really quickly without making making a lot of the pitfalls and mistakes that most people make, including myself, when growing their firm, go ahead and click on the link inside of the description either above or below the video. I'd love to be able to schedule time with you to see if I can help you out and if it makes sense to work together long term to really reach your business goals. And anyway, so let's kind of jump into this, okay? So when starting to do marketing, a lot of people are looking for very, very, very complicated methods. And while I can give you complicated methods like email marketing, Facebook advertising, Google advertising, Google My Business, Today, I just want to talk about three very, very simple methods to go and get clients. Um, and it's going to be at varying levels. So we're going to have like different phases. So the first is like the traction phase when you're basically just launching, just getting started. Maybe you're at zero, maybe one client, two client, three client, maybe you're at about like $1,000 a month, $3,000 a month. Now the next stage can be about $5,000 to about nine to $10,000, then $10,000 plus. For most people watching, um, if you want more content about how to go and get from $10,000 to about $30,000 or $10,000 to $50,000, go ahead and write inside the comments um, scale and I'll make some more videos about that because um, that's part of what our mastermind program takes care of. It generally takes people who are already at like $10,000 a month and gets them to closer to between 30 to 50 or whatever their goal is. Some people don't want to get to $50,000 a month. Some people only want to get to about $25,000 a month. So whatever your goal is, it can help you. Now, let's say that you're in that beginner stage. So when you're trying to gain some traction, when you're trying to go and build that initial momentum, the number one thing that most people don't do uh, especially if they're accountants or bookkeepers, just go to past relationships. So I always tell this to most new students when they go in the program, like even students who have been doing this for like six months, a year, um, two years, and they haven't really gotten clients or they've been kind of struggling or the results are kind of lackluster. Have you gone through your initial relationships, all of your past, all your past bosses, all of your past em employers, all of your past um, contacts. If you've ever been in front of like a consultant, if you ever spoke to a lawyer, if you ever spoke to another CPA, if you ever spoke to a bookkeeper, if you've ever, you know, been to a, a doctor's office, if you've ever been to a dental practice, like you have to go and just really do like almost like a network map. So with you in the center, and then just look at all these different people, like you have to do this first. Um, now, most people actually don't do this. For example, like I told Lene, she was one of my past students in the six figure friend mentorship program. Like, hey, have you actually spoken to this person? Like, we looked through her LinkedIn and it says this person owns a business. She goes, oh, no, I forgot about him. She went and talked to him. And within three days, a guy was paying her about $600 a month. Okay, the next day, next time we had our coaching calls, okay, cool. So let's go look through your LinkedIn again. Have you spoken to this person? Oh, no, I didn't. And we just kept finding stuff like it. She kept finding just different people inside. And it wasn't like she had to learn a bunch of skills. She had to learn any new marketing. It was just she had to really wring out the sponge slash towel of all the different opportunities that were there that she just wasn't taking advantage of. And, you know, most business owners do this, like when they're first starting, like insurance agents generally do this. Um, real estate agents generally do this. Uh, who's another good example? Financial advisors generally do this, but for some reason, when we're in that like B two B space where we're working with business owners, um, like for accountants, CPAs, and bookkeepers, they generally don't think about their past network first. And it's very, very kind of ironic because a lot of people like that's where they get their first client. But then in our industry, we generally get it from like strangers, or we're, we're trying to kind of go outwards first. Um, and in some cases, that can be because you know a lot of us don't really. Think about building friends when we're in corporate America, or even when we're working for the, you know, the public firm. Um, but you really have to start thinking about it, like, who in my network can give me clients at all times? As long as you focus on that, who in my network is a potential lead or is a potential referral source, it's going to make it very easy for you to start gaining that traction and start getting more to like five grand, six grand, seven grand a month. Most people have about an extra thirty to forty thousand dollars sitting inside of their network, especially if you've been in the same like, like accounting field for like 10, 15, 20 years you have probably about fifty to $60,000 worth of uh, monthly recurring 
revenue just sitting inside of your network. You just haven't learned how to properly tap into that. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I gave you like some, some pretty simple, um, some pretty simple things to go in and implement right now. Okay. Past relationships, partnerships, and learning how to utilize LinkedIn sales navigator. To be completely honest, those three things, the only three marketing channels that I use to go and get up to the six figure levels when I was first getting started. Nowadays, um, I show my students how to do like Instagram, email marketing, um, and different kind of like, um, in-person types of techniques. But if I was, if I had no money, I only had 30 days to go and start making revenue. If I cut off all my hands and my fingers, like that's what I'd be doing. That's, that's what I'd be doing if I needed money. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you got something out of this. Now, if you want some help going and growing your business from someone who's been where you're trying to go, go ahead and click on the link inside of the description either above or below the video. I'd love to talk to you on the call. On the call, what we're basically going to do is say, hey, where are you right now? What's really stopping you? What's really holding you back? Where are the opportunities that I'm seeing that we're kind of, you know, missing out on? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, okay, so cool. So knowing what you're doing right now, this is access step and this is the path that you're on. What do you actually want to go towards? Like, what do you want this vision to be like? Do you want to have a certain number of contractors? Do you want to be a one-man army? Do you want to be able to work 10 days out of the month and relax for the rest? Like, what does this look like for you? And then once we have a clear picture for that, I'm going to say, okay, cool. This is the steps we need to do in order to go and actually accomplish that. And if it makes sense, let's work together to do this inside of the program. If that's something that you think will have value for you, and that's something that you think is going to actually help you win the game and win the battle and actually get the business you want, go ahead and click on the link either above or below the video. I'd love to see you on the call. If you're not quite ready for that, that's okay too. No harm, no foul. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Keep watching, keep taking some nuggets, keep learning, keep implementing the stuff I'm talking about. And when you're ready, let's book a call and let's talk soon, okay? Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Take it easy.